The Kremlin is inventing new ways to recruit Russians to join the army amid heavy losses at the front. Now, the Russian authorities are promising land in the occupied Crimea to people who voluntarily sign a contract, according to Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine. It is noted that the Russian Federation is actively recruiting new soldiers, promising land in the occupied Crimea, which indicates the strategic plans of the Kremlin. Moscow uses various recruitment methods, including land giveaways and foreign volunteers, to fill its military ranks. This strategy of the Russian Federation is aimed not only at replenishing the army, but also at changing the demographic composition of the occupied Crimea in order to increase control over the region. As the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine points out, this practice was used by the Russian authorities before, but land in Crimea was given only to Crimean residents for participation in the war. In addition to replenishing the ranks of its army, Moscow is also encouraging resettlement to Crimea with the aim of increasing the number of residents loyal to the Kremlin and strengthening control over the occupied peninsula, reports the TSPD. This once again confirms that the aggressor wants to continue the war at any cost. In search of new cannon fodder, the enemy spares neither his own people nor citizens of other states. The TSPD says, recall Russia has passed a law that allows migrants to be stripped of their citizenship if they refuse to do military service. According to British intelligence, after the law is signed, the practical consequences for Russian conscription are likely to be limited. However, independent Russian media continue to report on the persecution of migrants by law enforcement agencies, in particular with the aim of recruiting them to the army. The new law provides another form of legal coercion in this regard. The intelligence agency writes, The fire that occurred following Ukrainian drone attack at the oil base in kamensk shakhtinsk in Russia's Rostov region on the night of August 28 has not been put out yet. Continuing for more than a day and a half, the fire was accompanied by explosions from oil tanks and covered a wider area. The images were taken and distributed by local residents. According to reports, there is a shortage of water and foam to extinguish the fire. Although a fire engine was brought from Volgograd region, it was not enough for extinguishing the fire. The provincial administration said there was no threat of the fire spreading to residential areas. Thank you.